I've got this one card that I really need for my deck, and I'm hoping I can find it in this one booster pack that I have. Maybe we'll get lucky. I've got a Rufflet, Drowsy, Flabebe, Roggenrola, Psyduck, Lombre, Rayquaza? I don't, I don't need that. But the metal energy, yes, I found it. I've been looking for a metal energy for my deck. This is so perfect. <laughs> You've probably opened a pack of Pokemon cards and skipped right past the basic energy. I know I have. What's energy even for anyways? Now let's take a look at a Pokemon card. You'll see that each of its attacks has an energy cost to the left of it. If you want to perform your Pokemon's most powerful attacks in battle, you'll need energy and plenty of it. In the Pokemon TCG, you can only attach one energy from your hand to your Pokemon during a turn meaning that most attacks will take a few turns to power up. However, many of the best strategies utilize cards that accelerate energy or get multiple energy into play at a time. In this video, I'm gonna show off some of my favorite energy accelerating Pokemon, some of which you may already have in your binder. Now let's get started. Flaffy from Evolving Skies is a great card, and it's only an uncommon. You know, a Pokemon card doesn't have to be rare to be amazing on the battlefield. Flaffy isn't even a fully evolved Pokemon. In fact, most decks that play Flaffy don't play Ampharos. Flaffy's ability, Dynamotor, allows you to attach a lightning energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. And this ability can be used for each Flaffy you have in play. If you have three Flaffy in play, that means you can accelerate three energy from the discard pile to your bench Pokemon during your turn. Just think of the attacks you can use with all that energy. Part of what makes Flaffy such an electrifying addition to a deck is that it accelerates energy from the discard pile. This means that if one of your Pokemon is knocked out, Flaffy can help recover the energy that got discarded to prepare a new attacker. Flaffy is like a recovery card and an energy accelerator all in one. With Flaffy in charge, it's gonna be very difficult for your opponent to run you out of energy. The first Pokemon TCG event that I ever attended was a Noble Victories pre-release, and Electric was featured in the first Pokemon deck I ever built. Notice anything familiar about Electric? That's right, Electric and Flaffy are Dynamotor twins, which is one of the reasons I'm so stoked to build decks that feature Flaffy. While some Pokemon have abilities that accelerate energy like Flaffy, others accelerate energy with their attacks. Victini V and Victini V Max both have the Spreading Flames attack which allows you to accelerate up to three fire energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in play for just one colorless energy. This attack can be used as early as the first turn of the game going second with Victini V and is great for getting fired up at the beginning of a match. Later on in the game, Victini V Max can help get enough energy in play to seal a victory. Want to know a fiery play you can make with Victini V Max? Try playing Victini V Max with Cheryl from Battle Styles. Cheryl is a supporter that heals all damage from your evolution Pokemon, but requires that you discard all energy attached to those Pokemon. After your Victini V Max has taken damage, you can Cheryl the damage away before accelerating energy again with the Spreading Flames attack. I get it. Now you're probably a little skeptical. Why would I waste my turn attacking to accelerate energy when abilities can accomplish the same thing? Abilities can be turned off by cards like Galarian Weezing with its neutralizing gas ability or the stadium card Path to the Peak. Energy accelerating attacks are a consistent way to make sure that you can blast into battle quickly without being disrupted by ability lock. All right, trainers. Hope you've been paying attention because it's pop quiz time. Which of these Pokemon have an energy accelerating attack? That's right, both of them. Victini, the victory Pokemon, is known to bring victory to any battle. What better way to win than to accelerate energy into play?
Accelerating energy from the discard pile is great, but arguably the best form of energy acceleration is the kind that comes straight from the deck. Rillaboom from Sword and Shield has seen a lot of success in the Pokemon trading card game because of its Voltage B ability. Voltage B allows you to search your deck for two grass energy and attach them to your Pokemon. That's it. As easy as beating a drum. Both Flaffy's Dynamotor and Victini's Spreading Flames require you to have energy in the discard pile in order to work, but Rillaboom only requires that you have energy in your deck, which is almost always the case. With just one Rillaboom in play, it's pretty easy to get a couple of attackers powered up quickly with Voltage Beat. One of the coolest things about accelerating energy is that you don't always need to power up Pokemon of the same type. Lightning type Pokemon like Flaffy can be used to power up Dragon type Pokemon like Rayquaza VMAX. Fire type Pokemon like Victini can be used to accelerate energy onto Psychic type Pokemon like Galarian Rapidash V. And the list goes on. If the main attacker or hero of your deck has colorless energy in its attack cost, that means that any type of energy can be used. The creative possibilities for deck building are endless. Energy accelerating Pokemon are a lot of fun to build a deck around. As you continue your Pokemon trading card game journey, you'll find that there are so many different ways to get energy into play. These are just a few of my favorites. But there are plenty more Pokemon as well as supporters and even items that help accelerate energy onto Pokemon too. Thanks for watching and make sure to let me know your favorite way to accelerate energy into play in the comments below.